Hi, my name is Eric Stewart, and I'm the founder of Code Green Community. I started Code Green Community after learning about the Transition Network. The Transition Network is a collection of groups of cities, villages, towns, all working separately, but together on shifting culture to become more sustainable. These groups raise awareness about peak oil and climate change to work with the local community to develop an energy descent plan. Code Green Community is following the transition model, forming an open source organization in which everyone is a leader. Code Green Community is a sum total of the collaborative efforts of the new emerging green movement within the Tampa Bay area in Florida. Peak Oil was developed by Dr. M. King Hubbard with the first release of his theory in 1949. In 1956, Dr. Hubbard predicted a peak in production of oil in America by 1970. True to his theory, oil production within America peaked and we began our nearly 40 years of constant exponential growth in oil imports. The importation of fossil fuels has a clear and direct link with our debt as a nation. For the larger we grow, the more oil we must import using borrowed money. Recently, the International Energy Agency released a world report on the future production of oil. Whistleblowers reported that the report had altered data along with heavy assumptions that further investment in production could make up for declining production. Unfortunately, investments are being cut off due to the financial crisis. In the coming year, another wave of mortgage defaults and foreclosures can bring about yet another financial crisis, leaving a gaping hole in the future investments for production. So where does America import its oil from? Our prime importer is Canada, followed by Mexico, Saudi Arabia, and Venezuela. Neither, nearly 50% of the oil from Canada comes from tar sands in Alberta, where pristine boreal forests such as these are turned into wasteland, as thousands of pounds of sand must be dug up to excrete oil. Trucks the size of three-story buildings move around tons of sand. This system only works if oil is expensive, is very limited in production increases. The next highest importer is Mexico. If you have been following news, as many as 20,000 people have died for over the past few years over fights within Mexico between the drug cartels and the Mexican government. Cantrell, Mexico's largest oil field, has peaked production and beginning to slide. Billions of dollars the Mexican government relied upon is vanishing, allowing the government to become weak. It's hypothesized that the oil in Saudi Arabia is about to peak and over the next decade we will see a decline in production in that country as well. Venezuela hit peak in 2000. Just as in Mexico, the government has been losing control. Recently, the government devalued their currency, causing a large inflation within the country. Businesses are being taken control of by the government in an attempt to maintain control climate change, due to exponential release over time of greenhouse gases, is playing itself, it, itself out as well. While constantly being sought to debunk, the facts are clear. Mankind's culture of industrialization has released enormous amounts of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. There has never been as much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere over the past 400,000 years. Civilization has grown over the past 10,000 years in between the interglacial period. We have no understanding and comprehension of the kind of dramatic shift that our industrial society has been causing over the years. As a culture, we are in need of a makeover. We can act both individually and as a community to create a new vision for ourselves, a vision of a future that is both sustainable, utilizing renewable energy, as well as resilient to future climatic changes. Code Green Community is an organization with the intent on creating such a community, where such visions can be created together. Code Green Community utilizes new website in order to allow its members to participate and engage as leaders. The main page is full of information about local events and groups, as well as a list of our members. And the most important button of all, the donation button. We are raising money for our 501c3 status, along with the need for donations to cover government fees as well as market our organization. 
This organization is run by you, so no administration costs. The invitation page allows you to invite your friends, neighbors, family, and any other people you may know to our growing community. The group page, along with the connect tab, allows you to search for a group. Find one that matches your interests, or if no group is in a local area, begin your area's tr transition group by clicking add a group. If you are part of a local green organization, feel free to advertise your group business by adding a group on our website. Within every group is a form, but overall, Co-Green Community has a discussion area and a general form. Using Web 2.0 technologies, you can upload your own photos or of events or check out previous events. Every member has the capacity to be a leader by starting up their own event. Host a home meeting or contact a local, local library and seek a site to host a film. Clicking the Add Event button allows you to input all the information needed for our members to connect with you outside of cyberspace. Invite all of your friends, neighbors, local businesses, and organizations to your event. Have a story to tell? Post a blog about your thoughts. Share your story about what you're doing to transition away from fossil fuels so others will listen and be inspired to change as well. If our organization is going to succeed, because we have attracted people by our encouragement to change, not by talking about climate change or peak oil in a negative way, but by creating a vision of a future that people are drawn to, not motivated to by few. Come across an interesting movie or create one yourself? Post it in our video section of our community to watch and comment on. This is a picture of a bucky ball. Each individual atom within the ball is weak. But when they become interconnected and work collaboratively, these carbon atoms combine and create the strongest material known to man. We too individually can work alone, but it's only when we network and collaborate as a community that we can combine to make a dramatic shift in the way we live. A shift towards a green economy and a green society. I leave you now with a short speech by a local activist in Tarpon Springs. depending upon each other for what they had to offer. And we have to get over all that old garbage and start working together. And I'm pledging that I'm going to continue to take an active role and do my part to bring whatever information I have to the table so that I can assist others in doing some of the things I'm doing and also keep an open mind to the possibilities. And I think Tarpon Springs offers it to us I am so excited about this. I've been grounded in this for a very long time. But to see this baby being born is just beyond words. And I think we have quite a unique opportunity here in Tarpon Springs to create something that the world can look at. I mean, why stop at the states and the national? This little small community with us communicating and working together and using the resources and using the knowledge we can do great things together, and I'm pledging to be a part of it from day one to day end, and also assist others in other communities when I'm asked to take information to them from Tarpon Springs. Amen, sister. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs>